Hello everyone, this is Richard from General Understanding bringing you the first video of a series about anatomy and physiology, beginning with the basics. Anatomy and physiology is a conglomerate of two separate fields of science. Anatomy, which is involved with studying the structures in a living organism, and physiology which deals with the normal functions of organisms and their parts. Anatomy and physiology, which will be referred to as just an anatomy by me, is, in this case, a Division B and C Science Olympiad study event that focuses on three human organ systems. These are the skeletal, muscular, and integumentary systems, which will stay for this year and next year. These organ systems do periodically change, though. Visit the link below and look at the wiki for a better understanding. This video is made to help you study for this event, but most of the studying that you'll do, you'll have to do yourself with some resources. Some useful resources are textbooks, but these I only recommend if you're very serious about it because they do cost money. You can look at the text exchange and archive to see what kinds of questions you'd find on standard tests and to see what you should review. Types of cells and or tissues in the body. All four types of cells or tissue mentioned below are found in this year's three events. Cells and or tissues can be swapped interchangeably, but this slightly changes the roles. And you do have to pay attention to what is mentioned below because this may change as well. Nerve cells or neurons are capable of transmitting electrical signals to and from the brain. Nerves bundles of the axons of neurons, and receptors are mentioned in the three events of anatomy and physiology. Muscle cells are cells capable of contracting in response to stimuli. The three types are smooth, skeletal, and cardiac. Considering that anatomy and physiology this year covers the muscular system, this is important to know. Epithelial cells, also known as skin cells, these help provide, protect the body and provide a covering for it. This is also mentioned in the three systems covered by this year's anatomy. Connective tissue provides structure to the body and protects internal organs. Types mentioned in the current systems are loose and dense proper connective tissues, bone, and cartilage, although there are others. About the loose and dense proper connective tissues, there are special types of those, and some of these are mentioned in the three organ systems covered by anatomy, so be sure to search them up. Organizational levels of the human body. Starting with the smallest and ending with the biggest. Chemicals are atoms and molecules. There are a lot of chemicals to remember, such as proteins and neurotransmitters. If you don't know what those are, I recommend you search it up. Cells, the basic unit of life, made of chemicals. Many specialized cells will be mentioned and seen in the tests, many of them mentioned in the previous slide. Also, with chemicals, if you don't know what a cell is, or can't name all the organelles, you're not exactly ready for this event, in my opinion. So you should probably know those. If you don't, just search them up and get yourself brief with, briefed with them. Tissues are groups of cells working together. This will also see, be seen a lot throughout the event. Organs. Multiple tissues working together to do a major function. This will also be seen a lot throughout this event. Organ systems are multiple organs working together. There are three organ systems in each rotation of anatomy and physiology, but other than that, you will not be seeing much of this. Organisms are all the organ systems together. You won't really be seeing much of this in the event either. Terminology. 
These are the directional terms used in anatomy textbooks and tests. It's very important that you know these lines. The most important line you'll learn or you'll find is the midline slash median. This refers to the middle of the body. Directional terms indicate the direction something is moving or the overall area that you'll find something. Superior or rostral means up and above or above. Inferior or caudal means down or below. Anterior slash ventral, front. Posterior or dorsal means back. Proximal means near or nearest to a point of reference or the midline of the body. Distal, far or farthest to a point of reference or the midline of the body. Medial means towards the middle, lateral means away from the middle or to the side, superficial means near the surface, deep means towards the interior of the body, which basically means the opposite direction of superficial, ipsilateral means the same side of the median to a point of reference, contralateral means opposite side of the median to a point of reference. Anatomical planes. These are the planes of direction and movement. Below is the list of three planes. The anatomical planes are the coronal, sagittal, and transverse planes. The sagittal plane, also known as the medium plane, splits the body to the left and right sides. The coronal plane splits the body to the forward or interior or back or vet back or dorsal sides. The transverse plane divides the body to the upper or superior and lower or inferior sides. To the right of this slide, you will see a picture with the three planes. Here are the types of epithelium, differing in how many layers and the shapes of the cells themselves. Simple squamous, simple cuboidal, and simple columnar with one layer of cells. Stratified squamous, stratified cuboidal, and pseudostratified columnar. Two of these have multiple layers of cells. The exception is pseudostratified columnar, which only has one layer. Transitional seems to have multiple layers, each one with the differing shapes of cells. Here is a description of the types and shapes of cells and tissues. This will also delve deeper to the types of epithelium in this slide. Here are the terms for describing cell layers. Simple, which is made of one layer. Stratified, which means more than one layer. Pseudostratified means it looks like it has more than one layer, but actually just has one layer. The terms for shapes of the cell are listed below. The most common ones are squamous, which means flat, like perhaps just a 2D square, cuboidal, which means 3D and looks like a cube, and columnar, which means tall and thin. Miscellaneous terms, you will not see these a lot in the three body systems. Men Inventioned in the current anatomy and physiology rotation. Polygonal, meaning having irregularly angular shapes, or just relatively polygonal, I guess. Stellate, which means having multiple pointed processes projecting from the star, I mean from the body, and makes it look somewhat star like. This usually refers to stellate cells, which are special neurons in the central nervous system characterized for their shape. Ovoid, which is essentially the stereotypical look of a cell, which is round and spherical. Discoid means disc-shaped. Here are some links and other things used for studying. The Science Olympiad Student Center can be accessed below with that link. Science Olympiad's official website 
where you can find the rules manual and you can search up anatomy and physiology for some useful links has the uh, URL below. For textbooks, you can search up anatomy textbook to find some, but this costs money, so you should be wise with which one you buy and look at some reviews. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. As said in earlier videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell, and stay tuned for further videos uploaded by General Understanding. This is Richard. As said earlier, thanks for watching. Goodbye, and please stay safe during this time.